the just barely missing Skadoodle because he can be he can be one of the best off players that we've ever seen, but he can also be incredibly inconsistent with it as AZK gets the kill right there on Odorous. I mean, it, it could be the game changer right there and give T1 a little bit of an advantage moving forward for sure. Yep, as Def is able to trade one back, they look for another. This one onto Brat. Def goes good for two, and there's the Skadoodle Bob to come out. We were wondering which one we were gonna get, and I, that answers our question. As another shot misses, and he's going to get run down. Now it's 62 HP, but it's a shock dart to finish him off. Skadoodle, two huge misses. And round number three, looking to go the way of Dignitas. They have four alive. Two are low HP, and Spider trying to do what he can. He jumps on in the paranoia. They don't even spot him. Saul oh. goes down. It's two oh. in response, but of his own, trying to clear out this seaside as that paranoia goes through. Not going to get any value, but they should spot one in the back, and that's as much value as you could ask for with your Phoenix ultimate. Now this seaside has since been opened up, but Brax on the flank. The Lurk coming out through B. They were expecting B to be clear, and Skadoodle is able to land a shot. It is now a man advantage in favor of T1, as that spike looks to get planted. Not a very safe plant. It's going to be the Operator stuck Oof. in that corner. AZK is able to find one, not getting anything with the ult, but instead, just the 100 health. Odorous able to take down the Operator. It's Jet v. Jet action, and Dignitas comes out on top. But now it's all up to the Op, but Dazed goes good for two. It's a wall bang headshot, and it's a round to go back in favor of T1 as we are knotted up at three. That was a great play by Daze. I mean, the, the last thing you want. Drawing board, they save a couple of guns, and we got to take a peek at the replay. This is Ska going huge for two kills. Unfortunately, Makalov there just not able to get away. And that's where it all... Yeah, absolutely. A, a bigger picture, right? It is a marathon, not a sprint here as the spray comes through. There's the frenzy coming online and Brax is able to go good for one as well. Dazed picks up two with the frenzy. And now it's all down to the Sova. And as I say that, he gets sat down. Skadoodle finds another shot. On to Makalov there, and it is a flawless round, and that was that was the round I was It is interesting. We'll have to see if it pays off. Unfortunately, the only op here on the map now down on the ground, no longer in the hands of Skadoodle, and we're seeing that phantom oh. start to pay off. Unfortunately, caught with his pants down, caught with a smoke in his hand. As Odorous will fall, Brax looks for some more, but it's going to be trades across the board, and now Spider able to grab one. Needs to go good for even, but Daze is there, and Daze is good for two. Time inside has typically been where Spider is playing, so mixing up this angle has been huge. Now two going to come right in, and that's the angle we were talking about. They go two for two across the board, and Spider is still completely healthy. Neural Theft is available should Brax want to use that one. And again, the blades have been queued up by Odorous here on this side. As this retake comes through, we have to pay attention. That Phoenix on a big flank all the way around looking to get inside of Garage. As two will push through, Odorous is going to find one. Coming from the defender sided spawn. Looking for Ooh. another, but Brax is able Last to trade it. It's still a 2v2 Psalm. He has lady. the knife queued up, but he's not going to take it. Now, Brax and Psalm will go toe to toe here on this C side. As the flashes come out, Brax is going to stick it halfway. Pros don't oh. fake. He pulls off, and Brax goes good for three. He takes down Psalm, and he has the time. One. Bringing things back and find push in, maybe catch something on the flank. Day's going to toss out the recon bolt. Gets a bunch of information for his team and sure they might get locked down but it doesn't matter no the lockdown actually gets destroyed by azk and odorous finds two it's a 3v3 but odorous unfortunately did not walk out of his trade unscathed he's low hp underneath heaven he's trying to go in for the wall banks Kadoodle on the side has the play storm but he's gonna go wide and it's the specter to pick up a couple of kills and now it's all down to spider it's the lowest Average combat score in a 1v2 as the From the Shadows comes through. They spot one out. He knows one is short. And now he's playing against not only two members, but the clock itself. He spots one out. He takes down Death. It's a 1v1. It's Omen v. Omen. And Spider has the HP advantage. He fakes the defuse. He waits for him to push through the smoke. He jumps in. He's going to be taken down. And in, I mean, this and retake here. But as the smokes go through, the cage comes down. The Molotov is answered. That Nano Swarman on the flank. Death will go, but unfortunately, it is to no avail as AZK was waiting for that one. Now, Psalm trying to creep up. That spike has since been planted. And now the post plant towards mid. This is a good spot for T1 to be in. 
but there's a lot of angles you have to check if not on the site it's from c it's from a it's from mid it's creeping up into window there are a whole lot of options for digging tosses they do find one kill brax able to trade it now from headshot and it's a v1 it's very low hp on solomon he's caught reloading as scooters here on your mini map pushing towards c that killjoy trying to push everybody away they know one in the back corner but spider's gonna find the kill and that's all you can ask for for your one lone soldier on this c site now the spike planted for long that up shot gonna go wide the nerfs pay off huge for t1 but they're not able to the woodworks just yet psalm on the flank goes good for two and now skadoodle has to stop the planter he right clicks and misses and superman goes from superman to superstar as he takes down Skadoodle, and he has the defuse, and it's down. That Hunter Shiri got quite a bit of value as that running back comes through. Saw him looking for something. He's going to be taken down. Spots out the op, and the flank is there. They've got his body. On ball, AZK now on the site, going to fall from across exactly. the map. But with the spike down, Dignitas now have to move. Maklov not going to find the kill, but Depp will trade it back and forth across the board. But Ska goes big with an op shot to land. Now the remaining two off of this site looking to find their way on in. It's a frenzy in operator, the blade storm, and 10 HP here for Odorous. They do have Superman creeping up as well. Paranoia going to stop Skadoodle from seeing anything. They shut out the lights and they close it out. Now a Hunter's Fury available, but he's got to send it right now. He has to try and figure it out as the kill comes through. Now the next two shots to go target. He is going to land it, and that's the clutch. Dazed once more. This 50% win rate into something so much more. As Skadoodle going to push forward the drone as Makalov's attention as he will fall. So it's one for one traded across the board. Now the lockdown comes through, and Dignitas looking to clear out this site. Nobody going to be able to push that one just yet. A spider goes on in. Superman was queuing up the teleport, but cannot go as he is now six feet under. Spalm on the flank. Odorous on the flank. Going to find one. Not going to find two. The frenzies have been huge. The operators have been huge. And now Dignitas, if they want to be on match point, need to be huge. As Psalm finds one with the Vandal in hand. He's going to toss out the hot hands and will go for the defuse. It's Phoenix v. Phoenix. Psalm now going to peek. Now going to find the kill. It's a 3K. And he has. So no kills to come left. through just yet as Odorous looking now to push up 26 HP. They can look to even the odds as Skadoodle is able to get one on the way out. Odorous is going to whip a few shots, but Psalm is able to even the odds. T1. Days. Trying to do what they can. Days goes good for two. Can he find some more? It's low HP. It's a shock dart on the spike. The kill to come through. The classic he'll get away. And Days again. A 4K. A clutch. Of the site. The spider taking. His stance as Hunter Shuri is now traded out. They do spot him out. Maybe take him down. No, the last shot going to go wide. So it's just low HP on the Omen, low HP on the Killjoy. It's a 5v5 across the board. And Def is very low HP here at this point. Skadoodle going to find the first kill to kick things off on this site. Stopping the retake for now, but Odorous on the flank. The paranoia to go through. They're going to try and push through the cages. Def with low HP is able to find one, able to find two into the back of the site. And Odorous on the flank. They completely wipe T1 off the board to retake. They only... The spike will be planted. No ultimates to stop this one, but a shock dart will follow. And Dace is able to actually sneak away. So stays up for now. No harm, no foul. But it's SMGs across the board here for T1 as they look to hold down this site. It is a five-man retake. A few looking to creep on through this doorway. Odorous now going to peek out. He's going to find the spray down onto Days. No answer just yet as Brax wide swings and he will fall as well. It's two kills now coming the way as Odorous is not done just yet. He finds a third and Makloff is able to close out the round. It's Dignitas on their fury is available. There's no real way to get off of this site for the post plant. Now the spike is down. Dignitas working against the clock. Spider and Dazed on the site proper as they look to clear things out as a whole. A recon bolt is available should they choose to shoot that one into the back of the site. Shock Dart comes out. Not going to find too much, but he spots two. Maclob's able to trade. Dazed gets one with a Shock Dart in. Uh, you know, the teams have started to, to figure it out, but I don't think they have all the answers just yet. Is that all? It's going to come down and it's pistols in the hands of T1 and Psalm just can't hit the shots, unfortunately.
He was shocked himself. Zotus has now flanked around. Death goes big for two, and that's the spike on the ground, and it's all up to Spider with 47 HP. It looked so good. In the back of the side, so they're not going to go into this one blind. As the blades come through, the shots come down, and one from stairs as Brax opens up this B site, and T1 should have that free take. And now look for the plant. The post plant to come through once more is going to be two on site, and Brax hanging out just outside towards CT. Death. Maybe spots this one out. The lockdown queued up is going to place this one into B main. So has nothing to worry about. But Brax still in a good spot. As the shock darts come through. Makalov sniffing this one out quite a bit. Tosses a dart into the smoke as well. And finds the info. Finds the kill. He finds everybody. Makalov goes huge. A 4K from the Sova. And I mean, against all odds, what a play towards the defender sided spawn. The defuse come through and dig. But Makalov says, oh no, hold on. It's all right, I got this guys. I got you, I'll carry you to this. Taking out those guys is odorous. Like I said, at the very beginning, odorous saw him and Makalov and we get a flawless all together. You saw in that last round, there's a little bit of confusion on, you know, who needs to be where, how quickly do we need to rotate over, but they finally do it. And they, but when they make decisions, they make them. I love seeing Superman make the aggre a, a slightly aggressive play while they're being hunted down to pick up that op. That's a big deal for them. Then getting the kill with that op is huge. As Skadoodle takes down Odorous, AZK taking down Saw, Makalov taking down Skadoodle, but now we got a two on two situation, but Dignitas on this map right now. I mean, we, they were at a disadvantage going down or going into ascent, and and they've held their own. This is this could be big if they could only be down, let's say seven five six six going into the second half of this map. That's going to be huge for Dignitas in this in map two. Yeah, and we know aggression is where Dignitas really make their plays as the shots come down. Damage to be found either an odorous. He sniffed one out. He goes up top with the blades, and the blades exactly fall flat. They're dull this round for both of the Jets, and Brax goes good for two. Make it three as he's on the flank. The neural theft come through, and Brax goes four. He cannot be stopped. He's going to push through CT. He's looking for the ace and to close out the half. Brax goes nuts. He it's looking pretty dire as uh, Dignitas grabbed themselves a couple of rounds on attack. Yeah, I, you know, it's it's tough right now. As early, as early on as we are, we're still kind of in the middle rounds. It feels bad to see a guy, uh, to see a player like Spider in the middle when he typically has the, the, those lower combat scores, but it might just be him playing above the level that he's playing. On their heels right now, really, really honestly putting them on their back. And, and they have to start, oh, Skadoodle taking out Odorous there. I was just about to say, they have to start taking out and picking Odorous early on because that's the only way T1 has a chance to really dominate Dignitas in these rounds. And then they immediately take Odorous out right at the very beginning. A nice start there. Skadoodle finally starting to come online. Unfortunately, he was taken down. I believe that operator should still be in the hands of T1 as it's a 4v3. Both Hunter Shuri is available. It's Makaloff going to go huge again. Finds a kill onto Spider. Now Brax with 22 HP. It's just not enough. It was a Bulldog, but AZK answers back for two. It's three on the round. And now it's all up to death here. It's the Killjoy with full utility. To try and creep through has to get the spike and get it down there's 50 seconds left on the clock azk looking the wrong way and we will be brought to a 1v1 death now looking to his right will get shot he'll have two ultimates available and that killjoy ultimate that lockdown it didn't get a whole lot now odorous is able to even the odds and once more this is a player that if he's on the map if he's anywhere here on ascent you have to be wary as that spike goes down odorous gonna be on the flank we will see Makalov hanging out over towards Wine as well. It's going to be a 3v3 on the retake. Brax, a bit oh, lower on me. HP, but so is Def. As that oh, ultimate so. comes on through, Def's able to trade it, but it's back and forth, and we're still tied in Arsenal. It's a 2v2. The spike is down, and now T1 playing against the clock. They have to look to make something work. Both members stacked up here into A main. As the shock darts go out, that shock and a miss. Shock Dark gonna go wide for that one too. The defuse gonna be faked, and it could just be the collateral. No, it's gonna be Brax to find a kill. He holds the angle for another, but it's Makalov to go huge. If they can pick Odorous early again, this could be really huge for T1 in this round. Yeah, Odorous looking to have a round for himself, but he's taken down almost immediately. Dashing onto the site, Brax 
We'll take down the top frag, and the second duels make it three. Brax looking to match his ace with an ace, as it's all up to one. Brax is still alive. It's a 4K for the Cypher. As Superman pushes up, he's able to grab one, able to grab three. He's trying to answer back. It's an off in hand. Not going to find the fourth just yet. He's going to get pinched, and it's a 4K for 4K across the board. Now a 1v1, but Brax on top. What a round. Been playing so well, but Odorous specifically, he brought this up. Odorous going down again to another Skadoodle op shot. Skadoodle just picking off Odorous Here. time and time again. This is going to be a tough round for Odorous. And Skadoodle with another one on death and another one on Psalm, taking three down. Defenders wow. winning. Yeah, so just... From the omens and the neural theft, still available. As Daze is able to stop that teleport from coming through, and through the wall he finds death. Wow. What a way to kick off the round that could tie up the series. Now Spider underneath heaven is gonna find a kill. The blades go down, and it's four two. Makalov will fall. That's both top frags down. You no longer have to worry about the clutch from Makalov, but Superman. He files onto the site. Daze will trade him back, and now Psalm, who has been fairly quiet this entire game needs to pop off to keep Dignitas in the runnings here on Ascent. It's a 1v2, both left. are up towards heaven. It's 15 rounds oh. in the magazine. F holding the angle, the paranoia queued up. They're gonna be traded back and forth down towards A-Shore and there's Death finding the angle. He's able to ADS and find the kill. Spider's able to trade it back though with the paint shells to come through and Daze goes huge with the Hunter's Fury. Death finding two left. before being traded and it was just an awkward fight back and forth. At the end of the day, it's Odorous now with the Bulldog in hand, and this Bulldog bites. It's two kills. It's stopping the plant, but now it's a 1v1. Skadoodle on low HP. As he looks to peek around, Makalov has been the clutch, and he will be the clutch. In about half of these rounds right now, especially in that last round for Spider, big right there, dropping Odorous early on in the round. Now, T1 is up 5-3 to three after Skadoodle takes down Makalov. Yeah, and it's, it's all starting to fall apart. I, I do believe this was a low economy round for Dignitas, but either way, it's T1 really getting comfortable in that driver's seat here. Now they're going to smoke elbow in just a second, and they're playing this really, really smart as Brax takes down Def right there. They're waiting for Dignitas I to come to them. Exactly they're forcing right. Dignitas to lose patience, and they're just being, this, this, is where, this is where the experience of playing together comes through. Yep, absolutely. As the, still, as the kills start to come through, Brax finally able to get back on the board, but Psalm will not be silenced. It's all up to Brax, who had a carry performance in the last, but with trouble. Now, they plant the spike right here, but they're still at a disadvantage, and, and they've got Omen low on health. This is a tough spot for T1, and should be a pretty, fairly easy retake for Dignitas. Yeah, a, a, a very poor uh, positioning there of that lockdown. I guess you don't get too much. As Skadoodle in the corner, he's able to spray for two on the way out and now low hp on two members for both teams the omen and the sova Def gonna peek one gonna try and take him down but it's azk with 20 hp he finds the kill and now it's the low hp sova who has since been spotted out i don't think there's a way that dignitas get back in this one what a turnaround once more and i set up i'm pretty sure across mm -hmm. the board now odorous not going to get too much of the showstopper. He's actually just going to get sat down instead. Superman is there to trade, but that gun is too far to be picked up. So the Sheriff coming up huge. There's the Vandal from Saul, but he's not expecting Spider. The reaction time there from Spider as he strikes Saul down inside the showers. It's a 4v3, T1 on top, but Spider on low HP. Akalab looking for something with the shock darts. Not able to find too much as Spider, he just can't be stopped. You just can't stop saying this guy's name, especially on the race. He's been huge. As those shots come through, the sheriff is in town. But it'd it be sent on vacation. AZK <laughs> gonna send him on vacation after that one. And it's a 1v3. Def can't get it done. And that run there quickly, plant the spike, and force T1 to come in and retake. Yeah, and now some uh, teleporter baits to come on through. Superman able to find one kill, completely blind. Escadoodle on the back foot. It's going to be red for three across that kill feed. Now T1. Again, not in the best position. You see it was ghosts, it was classics, it was shorties. Not too much going on for this squad after losing that second round, picking up the pistol. But this next one going to be ever telling as or how this series will continue to play out as 
And Shorty from downtown, it doesn't have uh, the strength that it once did as Makalov forced away from the paint shells. And that's something you have to be afraid of. That right there, those paint shells from Spider have been absolutely insane all day here. Uh, just playing the geometry, playing the angles, and finding those kills with that utility is all you can ask from your race player. Now with that spike planted, T1, you just got to send it. You want the loss bonus here, so you might as well just head on out. At the very least, you can look to hurt the economy. As we see low HP on one, Days almost getting spotted. He's going to look to peek here. Right clicks come through, not able to find the kill. Spider is, though, able to trade it. Could be difficult, as that turret is going to be enough to bait out an op shot. Spider trying to do what he can with the paint shells once more, but it's Dignitas 4-2 as a storm onto this B site. Days now in the back of the site, looking to make a play, is able to push through back of the spawn. Days picks up one, Def goes good for another, but Days is not done yet. He is the only member alive and Taking out Brax right there. They, they, look, they're they're putting the pressure on. Now they're playing their style. They're playing at their speed, and it's working out for them every single time. As Days gets a big pick on Odorous right there with the Sheriff, though. A nice pick. Uh, one HP. He's able to skirt away with, so not going to be too much. Uh, unless it's a, a hero shot from downtown. As the uh, drone is able to spot a couple out up over towards Heaven or this defender-sided spawn. So we get that nice little zoom in. We see everybody stacked up. Three members in lamps. One going to be playing just underneath heaven. It may just be spotted. Coming on out, it's the Bucky from downtown. But that's a shotgun at max range. Unfortunately, it's not enough. And now we jump back on board with Days with one HP. <laughs> it's going to take one HP in a dream is what we like to say around here. And that spike is ticking down. He's trying to get the shots out. And again, you do not want to save. You do not want the uh, credits there in his hands. <laughs> not able to turn that one around. Spider, though. Get on the outside, tosses out the ultimate. Unfortunately, that spike being planted inside the box and Skadoodle is smoked off. The site has been completely cordoned from the inside and the outside, and AZK is able to find one kill onto Makalov. And I would say 3v4, T1, looking to pick this one up. It is their round to win, and as you said, to regain this momentum that they've lost for the last few rounds. But they are playing against the clock. So if they are going to pull the trigger, they have to do it now before they run out of time. Shots coming out from the box. Kills going to be traded back and forth. It's Skadoodle back on the board. But it's Def and Superman to go shoot. AZK still alive. Wow. He swings around. But it's a... For either squad. An elbow spotted. The Leer comes out. He tries to play to not get blinded. And he's forced to dash away. It's Glass Cannon on the operator. It's 20 HP on the operator as he dashes away he gets spotted out the hunter sure he's gonna be traded and skadoodle goes down dazed is able to trade it back in azk gets on the board here for t1 they have the man advantage but only for a split second as death evens the odds it's a 3v3 as psalm gets spotted out by the Owl Drone. Brack's gonna find the kill through the wall, and now on the back of the site, they will go. Black Superman Spider goes Super Saiyan to find that Black kill up into heaven. Spider's Spider able to trade it back, and we find ourselves in a 1v1, oh. and it's... been playing aggressive, so I don't mind this at all. Anytime they've sat back, and they've allowed Dignitas to go get set up and play aggressively without playing aggressive back, as Makalov takes down Days right there, it hasn't worked out for T1, so I don't mind this. It just comes down to making the plays. Can they make the plays that they need to when they play aggressive? And right now, Dignitas is the team that's making those plays as Brax takes down Odorous and Superman takes down Brax. Now we got a 3v2 in favor of Dignitas. And it's just back and forth, but it's the judge in the hands of Spider as that satchel charge goes through and the teleporter gonna be taken. So it's Psalm versus Spider here in the 1v1. This is the decider. This is game three, left. and it does not get any sweatier than this. I would imagine Spider has since been able to pick up a weapon, so no longer a judge in his hands, but we will see who comes out on top. Dignitas trying to take us to overtime. T1 trying to close us out, and it's oh. Spider to find the kill. It's T1 to take this game. It was Dignitas's map to win, but instead,